just want to stop you right now. This upcoming white on Friday at 4 p.m. EST on the 11th, we are going to have a proper experience for you guys to enjoy. Now, a lot of you guys have a hard time starting out, especially when you're going against six people, but I found a proper solution for you guys to help you guys get started. We have many more changes coming out and I expect you guys to be there. And if you're not, and then you'd be nothing more than a disappointment and a waste of breath. You should never dissatisfy me. Do not disappoint me. You better be on that wipe. So make sure you join discord.gg slash bamsart or click on the link in the description. And yes, I'm playing this wipe. Your boy needs content after this video. <laughs> I'm serious. Dun 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 Subscribe. Toxin still thought his Tuso would win against my Megalodon. We still winning. That's not winning. We still wouldn't kill me because oh the anti-mission would just send you dumb. back. You're so dumb. I, you're scared of a win. You're scared of a win. You're scared of a win. Go to bed, bro. You, you, are, you are clowning yourself. Bitch, I'm literally proving you fucking wrong, you lost, bitch. You lost our two soul line. Okay, so I wasn't entirely fully honest about last video. You guys remember when I said I countered them by killing their Giga with my Spina? Well, before that, I came in and I lost our two so. But because I lost the two so, they prioritized that and left. It was all part of my plan, I promise. And the squid was a female. Wow. Wow, Toxin. I mean, he do got a point, though, because they Apex made a meme about it already. Bruh. Oh, he did. Nice. He didn't make did he? Nah. Yeah. He said when elites lose, don't know too so. Bruh. Are they the ones in Snow North? Yep. Yeah, it was literally a female. And that was it. It doesn't matter. They're probably not big balling with fucking Tussos. What do you mean? Bro, they live in. They live in Snow North. You guys didn't even read fucking Tussos yourselves until like I pretty much got into breeding the Tussos. That Therefore, doesn't mean they're not doing it. Exactly. It doesn't mean they're doing it either. Look. Motherfucker. Oh my god. Long story short, I was right. Ah. Gunny, Gunny. Mm. Are you looking yeah. at my screen? Yeah. Useless. 100%. Are you, are you talking to me because I'm turning on my crosshair? Hey, how'd you know I would apply it to you? Because I'm standing still and you're the only one that would be talking to me. Keep sucking my d though. That's cool. What the f oh, he's bouncing. Bouncing on his balls. Bouncing on my fucking balls all day, he does. Shh. Mm. What? What? Who Nothing. heard him say that? Huh? No one heard him say that. I didn't say hear what? anything. <laughs> he literally said, "Don't tell him." Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, it's, not, it's not. The, it's not. Yeah, Toxin. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? You That's you to say Toxin. All right, bro. Besides base shenanigans, I bred the PTs, picked up all the eggs, threw out my <laughs> card char, and imprinted it. Crowded it back. Put my card chars up. In case you're wondering, this is what our arsenal wall looks like. Nice. Cut the nuts off my motherfucking car charge. What the f man? What is that? What the f is that? I put a f ton of fiber in a replicator and started working on our flak legs. Flak everything actually. Filled every vault with flak leggings. And we had two vaults of flat leggings. That's a nice penis you got there. And the whole idea was to not only fill them up, but to make sure we had the best pieces inside. So after I got them all crafted, me and Perp started sorting them out. Keep the armor that's 900 plus. And then I started crafting the chest because you need titty armor. And while watching it in my inventory, I was able to sort through the durability. And I did a lot of sorting and crafting. Made a f ton of combos, fab sniper rifles, and I made sure all the other weapons that we had in our base was stacked. Crossbows were even made as well. Put the crossbows, comp bows, and put them in a vault. It also took me a while to sort through all the durability. But regardless, I did it. I mean, someone f***ing had to. Our armor was shit. Even made whips so we could whip the, uh, people. Made a f ton of them. Made a f ton of helmets. Put them in a vault. Same with the boots I made. Made more helmets. Filled the vault. Sorted everything that was in the mech. And you're probably wondering how much sorting I f***ing did. A lot. A lot of sorting. Oh, by the way, during this entire time, I wasn't even supposed to be online because uh, I was supposed to be editing. If anybody was to find out that I was base bitching the entire time instead of editing, I was going to be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and
And speaking of not being online, you won't be online if you get DDoS. Which is why I want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN keeps your online identity safe from big companies and cyber criminals by encrypting your information on the device you're on while being on the internet. Hiding your real location and having the ability of changing it to a totally different location. With Surfshark, you can unblock the blocked websites, get access to early games by switching time zones, meaning I can literally put my time zone as Australia whenever Arc ASA releases, I'll get it earlier. And even access blocked content from streaming services like Netflix. Besides the fun stuff, it keeps your information safe whenever you choose to go on a free public Wi-Fi. Protects you from DDoS whenever you upset little Timmy after raiding his base while he was offline. Because the IP he sees isn't yours, it's Surfshark masking it. You could also use their Surfshark clean web feature, which lets you go to sites that could be of risk. It blocks ads, prevents you from getting malware, trackers, and phishing attempts, allowing you to be safe at all times. And that's just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do. So get Surfshark now. Use code BAMSPG at checkout and you will get an extra three month for free. Surfshark VPN is also offering a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can always get your money if you're not happy bars so click the link in the description before the offer ends and thank you surfshark vpn for sponsoring today's video fast forward the boys decided to drop a fob on snow north and since there were four sinners two of them were our enemies and this one tribe named ult was one of the big ca tribes on the board and we were trying to make an attempt to get inside i used the velo and a tech helmet to find and shoot the tusa threw out an extra velo for meat boost you roared it and i kept shooting the tusa that way roared again shot it did a roar again shot it again i think we pretty much understand I'm gonna keep doing the same fucking thing. Eventually, I just kept doing it until it fucking died, though. And he was soaking it with his massive. Hey, yeah! I went above and started shooting a person on the squid. They had a lot of squids. And it was mainly to keep him from fucking with Andy while he was soaking. He ain't gonna do shit. Keep soaking. I need to try to kill that bitch. And every time I would shoot him, he would position the squid as much as possible, and then he'd get off and fill his turrets every time Andy would soak. <laughs> he keeps running around and he's trying his best to cry out, but he keeps eking on him. Oh, get it, get it, get it. He's trying his best not to lose it. Shoot it, Gunny. Oh, two of them are on it now. <laughs> They're both trying their hardest right now, Gunny. <laughs> both trying not to lose the squid right now, bro. But no matter what, we kept making a squid nut. Bro, the thing is so bloody. They're both trying to prevent it. Come on. Come on, ink bitch. They crowded it. <laughs> they were even acting distressed in chat. And Mero's tribe members seen it. Anyways, dude went too high and he died off the squid. Oh, I went up high in the sky. Well, well cave, because, you know, I'm inside the cave currently. And I started shooting a squid with my bow. Bro, what the fuck is he doing? He's <laughs> tweaking <it> out. <laughs> While Gunny's and Eddie was shooting with the velos, I was using my comp bow. And just in case he tried to hop off, I tried to shoot him. He's trying to cry. Trying to cry. I'm shooting the wolves. Thinking. I'll handle yeah. him. You handle that too, so. I'm you getting stammer quick, Andy. Keep shooting. Tell me when you're stammering, Zoe. Bow on it for the time being. And we eventually killed it. Nice. I roared the racer again, and I proceeded to shoot the ever-loving f out of that squid. Oh my god. But no matter what, they kept on replacing the squids. We went through at least five squids, and they were trying to attack us from the back side. We had a fob on a pillar, and they were trying to raid it. They kept on throwing stegos out while they were using their desmo, so Andy ended up shitting on their desmo and fighting a guy. He even played some battery heavies for Andy. He was terrified of them. And when Andy tried to confront him, he would consistently drop battery turrets. You got C4, remember? But Andy would blow it up. <laughs> He's scared of you. <laughs> Andy would grapple him and try to bring him to land to f him up, but no matter what, he would cut out his grapple. And Eddie was fighting this guy for a long time. During this entire time, I was mainly focused on editing, so I was being a lazy piece of shit. God, this How many? So annoying. I don't have a fucking like rifle, so I can't. Like, Actually, bro, if he stays there, he's a fucking idiot. And he was an idiot, because Andy ended up finding him. And Andy went hell and back to kill this motherfucker. It was funny as f to watch, honestly. This motherfucker was running for his life, trying to lose Andy as best as possible. But Andy wasn't giving up on his ass. Andy was on that kid's ass like VZ on pizza. The fat bastard. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 that's Damn. 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 He said ESP. They even came down to us with a fucking racer and I killed it. Wait, I think they came from the top, bro, because I didn't hear them come up. And since they came from the top, one could only tell that there was going to be something coming soon. I decided to play my little shenanigan again with them. And by the saddles, I think you guys already know what I'm about to do. What do you think? I like turtles. All right. Yeah, he's probably about to warn them about my stupid ass act I'm about to do.
<laughs> On forward! The moments before disaster gun. Oh! There they go. There goes my turtle. Watch them as they go. And they ended up soaking more than I expected them to. And just so you guys are aware, down below is 120 plus heavy and tech turrets. I threw them as a joke, but they dead ass soaking, huh? He's seeking the f out of this. They're all dead. Bruh. Ah, I see. I decided yellow at their drop down death wall. And it was fing me up. How many turrets are down there? Damn. <laughs> and you can oh, tell they had a f ton of turrets because when I went slightly deeper, it just got sensitive. <laughs> nah, but my dick racer couldn't handle it, so it died. Oh, no. But since this is ARK and it lacks fucking logic, I created a whole ass meta to myself. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but Mamasaurus can uh, spitball into fucking water. Well, ricochet. But then again, it does make sense. It's lava, it's fucking hot, and if it was in water regardless, it would be hot. Until it would eventually cool. And the funny thing is, I told the boys to test to see if it would work. They said it didn't. It works. I'm just gonna go to bed. It works. It fucking works, bro. More proof on it. Oh my gosh, it's going down. It works, <laughs> bro. Well, we found the way. So you're telling me we could have done this the entire month? That's so stupid. Dude, that's why I asked y'all if y'all tried it. Y'all said y'all did. Y'all just thought Ark had logic. Y'all forget it's Ark, motherfucker. And despite the mate boost, 6x, and that we were really close to the fucking death wall, it wasn't as easy as you would think. But I did get some hatch frames, which allowed me to place turrets. And while it was successful, there were other issues happening. It wasn't as easy to mama bomb their cave. But I'll explain that after. Because oh, now they had a f***ing fob on us. Yeah, I never explained it after. Yo, that is broken. Shoot me through a turret. How? I can't hit him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm hitting you either, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> a bassy bombed all the way to their turrets and destroyed some. <laughs> And they started making a beefy boy fob. Now Maywing bombed the two turrets at the top. But I got f They started adding a ton of f***ing turrets. And we really didn't have trimates on. At the time, it was just me, Gunny, Perp, and Toxin. And the assistant were both at work. Bring me a chain bola. Put, put some chain bolas in me. Bring me a f***ing chain bola. Good teamwork, boys. Good teamwork. I just not realize I'm f***ing muted. Chain bullet him. Don't b that, knock him back. That, that's Brad. literally what I was saying. I was like, someone put a chain bullet at me. And like, f***ing, I was muted the whole f***ing time, bro. And I was f***ing him up with the ballista turret. Holding him back as much as I possibly could. Even the RG was helping us. Whoa. My man's getting Whoa. murked by an RG car. Whoa. They even tried to come at us with the Stego. Gunny's grabbed it with the car key. Killed the rider. <laughs> then the guy on the tech rex thought he was a f***ing soaker. Nobody was there to help me. Perp came to help me. I decided to take everything and drop it back at the front fob. Because they were more than likely going to make it at the top. And we made a push on their fob. And we rushed our fob. With me and Toxin soaking, Gunny's was on the tech rex shooting the Fortnite. You guys are probably wondering, where's Perp? Perp was me and tipped to drop on their Fortnite with a Stego and blow it Boy, up. Oh shit, Perp. Blow it, boy. It's not blowing for him. Oh, by the way, my box was Bruh. missing. And since my box was open, they came in with a bat and got my ass. We went back for round two, but this time they had built bigger. Jesus Christ. I'm just getting their tribe. All right, go in. These guys, no doubt, had a bunch of turrets to spare for their fob. It was like we were going out of fucking death wall alone. And the desync of the fob was making it hard for Gunny's to even shoot his tech rex at it, which meant that we had to go back. So instead, the boys just kept on grapple glitching. Oh, nice. Too low. Per. We got an RG in there, shit. F with their teams. And Gunny's was busy down below doing a Mammosaur strat while we were fighting the entire tribe at the top. Yeah, I'm doing your Mammosaur strat. And at the same time, they were pushing as well. And we were lacking turrets. I told Toxin's bitch ass to bring some. Toxin and Perp ended up dying from their grapple glitches that they did. And I was just holding them back the entire time. With consistent chain bolas and nets, they started getting deeper with their soaks. They had two Stegos soaking at once. Then they had a Tech Rex and brought two Tech Rexes to shoot while two Stegos were soaking. I went to grab the Yudi so I could roar them. And when I did, they ended up coming in. Bro, I need to just pack everything up. They're literally in our... F yeah, it's, it's f***ing ripped. And when I tried to fight them, when things couldn't get worse, my f***ing game crashed. Screen froze. I don't know what the fuck's going on, dude. We need DPS up here, boys. They got three car chars in here. Did I stop moving? Did I DC? Like, what's going on? Yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead. I ended up going to bed because I was tired after staying up for countless hours. But the boys ended up rolling their fucking fob effortlessly. But they had to pack up because it was pointless trying to raid a base that was literally unraidable at the entrance. Desync was fucking annoying. Later, the next day, guys who scouted the people that decided to meme me in chat and make fun of me losing our squid line. <laughs> You're following you. The fucking penguin, nigga.
It's his pet penguin. Oh, you talking about? He's got blue boots. Steven? Steven. Steven. My boy Steven. Goodness is already getting started. Steven's his little mascot, bro. Steven in there? Yeah. Steven's over there. He's, <laughs> He's here for moral support. And while it looked like Gunnies was trolling by himself on starting the raid, I took the time to edit the video. And Gunnies ran through their fucking water entrance like it was nothing. He would desync to see the placement of the generators to find a way of cheesing it. And this was the last area that he had to cheese. Unfortunately, I didn't record the first part of it. EMOTIONAL damn it! <laughs> These two sounds are gonna fuck me up, though. This is honestly... A two-man job. This one would be a two-man job, but I'll try to do it by myself. Put yourself in the wall just to see exactly what it would be like. And that's what Gunny's did. He found a perfect spot that would help him successfully take down the generator. Damn. Damn. Oh, it's getting hurt. Oh, it's getting hurt. Oh, he's good. He's good. Oh, bitch, he hurt. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 what would we be done? Miro thinks we quit because we packed up the snow north. Could this be it? Miro thought that we were giving up, which means we were decepting him. He thought that we quit, which means we have an opportunity to win. But Gunny's ended up destroying that generator. Sadly, I didn't get to record that part either. Right. And afterwards, he was getting fucked <laughs> up by a mailing. Yeah, if you died to that mailing, no if you died to that no. fucking mailing, nigga. <laughs> There's no way the thing's gonna kill me. No. You better not die to that fucking man. It's not. I'm bearded up. <laughs> but he ended up killing it. But his bassy was getting mollywhopped. Bro, Bro see how those two souls are going in. They survived though. And since Gunny's made his way through the water, I took the courtesy of getting the fob ready. I made my way into the cave, and this is what the entrance of it looked like. Got added by Gunny. You have C4. Of course I have C4, nigga. I always stay straight, nigga. And while Gunny's was using the mech to clear the foundations, I started placing the C4 and blowing shit. There were some areas that I couldn't destroy and I had to get my admin to come get it. And I also didn't record the part where I was set up the entire f***ing fob either. It was a ginormous fob. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait. Before, before we continue our sussiness, alright, our sussiness. What the yeah. f*** happened? Man, so did you finish f***ing editing? I'm, I'm doing the background music oh right now. Alright, then why are you here? Man. Why are you here? I'm get just checking. Get out. Get out! Alright! And after that, I ended up doing a manhunt for my PlayStation servers. Which, if you are on PlayStation, you better be fucking on! They finished the fucking raid! It was an online raid as well. They ended up getting on and they fucking quit. Bruh. They got on, fought our tribe for a bit, decided that they didn't want to play no more, and they quit. So when I joined back in, we were already at the drop down. And Andy wanted me to strap his cute little butt, where he ended up getting fucked by the drop down. He managed to destroy a couple heavies. Gunny's want me to put on his booty too. Your but booty cheeks. Oh, and Gunny's made it far deep down. The LOS of the bodies helped prevent him from getting shot as easy. And I was tired of strapping C4 to everyone's ass cheeks. It was my turn. Perp, put on my butthole. For Scotland. And that's when my move finally got rid of the entire drop down wall. I'm going in, bitch. And I'm in, Ooh. bitch. Kind of, but I did 90% of the damage right there. Anyways, we were finally able to just fly in. And luckily enough, they didn't really have any defenses inside afterwards. We were finally safe to look around and loot. And let's just say they were thick. How much? Oh my god, we get the whole fucking buffet? And I also took the courtesy to look around the entire area of where they were raising Thames. Oh my god, the amount of shit here to meet run. And we found Apex's bitch ass. They had a decent amount in their structure daddies, and their arsenal wall was 
thick, especially as many fucking nets they have and fab sniper ammo. God damn, some thick bitches. Cessna was meat running everything and it was causing the server to lag. And during this time, Miro was actually trying to fob on us before we could even hit this tribe, but he took too long. His tribe literally took three hours to set up a fob. Apparently they tried to transfer a deadly of ARB to counter our fob. Like, why? Who the f does that shit? All of our foundations on the pillar are strapped. Oh, wow. That's a lot of- that's We're a lot already of in the base. Boo-hoo. I mean, if there's Seymour strapping those, let them do it. I'll blow it let up them and do replace it. it. Is it just they on the one them. pillar? They well, not know that it's 6x? It's 6x, but it's definitely- so what? It's Navi for sure doing that. It's yeah, definitely Navi. Of... Oh, shit. Oh. There he is. Oh, Kill him. Oh, shit! Oh, it's a bomb! Bro, we're already in the base. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, DAMN! And we had to let the server know that the deed has been done. This felt like when Thanos got all the infinity stones, the base was emptied out. No more teams were left. They were all gone. Reduced to atoms. I took everything in Exomech, brought it over to the area where we were gonna unload everything. And we have a whole daddy wall over here. <laughs> we need more vaults, Andy. We needed way more vaults than that. I dropped a meat in a vault, looked at the daddy wall so you could see what they had. Then I started transferring everything that they had from their base to our outpost. And even Shot knew that we won. Shot's the one that recorded my death, the fucking bastard. <laughs> oh man. Bruh. And two of them were on to fight us. As you guys can see in chat, they acknowledged that they were defending, but it was too boring. Anyways, we started packing everything that they had, and I made sure to scroll through everything. I would go to the crafting station, take everything, bring it to our area, drop some vaults that way we could play shit, because we had so much that we had to loot. And you're probably wondering, bam, are you really gonna edit through everything that you fucking got? You're goddamn right. It's crazy to think how far we came into doing all of this, how we ended up coming out on top. We weren't even taking it as serious as we could have. We we literally didn't have an active tribe, but we kept on grinding, we kept on raiding, and we did our best when we did it. And there was a moment during this entire time where we just didn't care for CA, and we were most likely gonna just quit, but we didn't. We didn't have good lines, and we weren't breeding like the others were, you know what I mean? Well that was until we f***ing raided rifles in the north. And got, uh, like an ego boost right nine there. Points from it. Kind of funny how we're the only tribes <laughs> that have been wiping fucking snow norris, and we have three under our fucking belt out of the. Four. It's, it's funny because he was kind of like it was under the impression of like clowning you guys for like, going for so yeah. many snow norris. Whenever Mira yeah, made that Mira, comment, he was he was asking he was like why do y'all eat fobs anyway? Bob the snow north and wiped it, and he's like I quit because <laughs> you guys are the most prepared. You guys have like tons of water times because yeah. you bred them. You guys had bad two. Mm -hmm. Them bitches was no joke. Until you gave him away. Bruh. All right, bitch. Since we looted their crafting Bruh. station, it was now time to bring it to base. And if you guys know anything about transferring loot, that shit could be annoying, especially when your game consistently crashes or how long it takes to load in a big base. Because our base would literally take three minutes to load in. We had a massive base. And I wasn't going to transfer all the bullets. I left the majority of the bullets in the f***ing turrets and in the teams there. Like, look at that, guys. A massive deadly wall of ARB. 180,000 bullets in each deadie, 18 deadies. That's 3,240,000 ARB. In other words, that's 14,580,000 goddamn gunpowder. Holy shit, boy. And 3,240,000 metal, but who gives a f about metal? And that's not even counting our defenses. And now that we finally had all their loot at our base, everything was still unorganized and I dropped vaults. I didn't necessarily specify exactly what I was gonna sort through, but let's just say I sorted through a f ton of cryos. It just felt like an endless amount of sorting and pulling from the drop vaults. I feel like I'm crazy for even doing this, but this is a way of like keeping check of all the cryos we got throughout the entire time. Oh my f No way! What? There's still more! <laughs> oh yeah, you my be sorting through for a good minute. The wipe ends in a few days, and the thing is, is like all these cryos were literally last video and this video. And 10 volts wasn't even enough. <laughs> You remember when we were surprised by like two vaults of teams we got? Felt like a lot. We got our taste of slash in or whatever. Yeah. F me. I need to add more vaults. Oh my f Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. And at the end of all that, we were left with 14 volts of fucking cryos. That's 4,900 fucking cryos worth. And I even made a tweet letting people know. If you guys follow my Twitter, you'd probably know this. You'd have to be cool to follow my Twitter. Please follow my Twitter, link is in the description. Besides cryos, I did continuous sorting through the entire base. Not that it matters, because I honestly didn't even show anything like, you know, afterwards. But we had a lot of shit in it ending. We became the Cluster Alpha. And this wipe was incredible, because I did the bounty on my base. I did the men hunts on both PlayStation and Xbox. I did the CA prize for Windows and PlayStation. And you want to know what? An event like that would never, ever be possible without you guys. You guys don't understand how much support you guys give this channel. So I just want to let you guys know to give yourself a pat on the back and a kiss on your hand. Go ahead. K k kiss your wrist. <sighs> Fucking loser. Imagine kissing your hand. God, you're so weird. Penis. 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 Oh, also, the base tour is up on my other channel. The link to my other channel will be in the description. And once again, I want to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video.